Hey everyone, Michael here, and in this video, I want to show you how to structure your Facebook ad campaign inside Facebook. Now, there's many different ways to do this. I'm just going to show you one of the methods that I use whenever I have a new product that I want to test. All right, so without any further ado, let me pull up my whiteboard right now to give you an idea on how to set this up. So I have my whiteboard pulled up over here and this is how you want to set up your standard campaign. Now there's two different ways to do it. Let's go ahead and talk about method one. Method one, you can basically have your campaign which will be your first product. And then under this campaign, you can have three to five different ad sets. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. And each of these ad set, you can set a budget from $5 to $20, depending on your comfort level. And each ad set will have different audience targeting. Now, under these ad set, we'll have ad creatives. We want to have at least two or three different ad creatives for Facebook to rotate and figure out which one is our winning ad creatives. So the first one, we can start off with 1200 by 1200 image post. This is also called a PPE ad. Or we can do a video ad and then a click to website type ad, which is 1200 by 628. All right, so we have three different ad creatives inside one ad set. And what Facebook will do is they will rotate through these three different ad creatives and find which one is our most profitable and most engaging ad creatives and show that one more often. Now, all these ad creatives are the same within these ad set over here. So what you want to do is make sure you use your post ID within these ad sets so the social proof will be carried over. All right. So again, we want to create three different ad variations within the ad set and every other ad set is using the same post ID so we can share the social proof as we spend more money on these ad set. So that is one way of doing it. And if you just want to test videos, you can have three of the same video, but the description and call to action is different on the three different ad creatives. So you can play around with the different combinations to see which one works best for you. If you don't want to use PPE ad, go ahead and use video ads and maybe CTW and let it rotate and see which one Facebook brings back with better results. Now that is method number one. Method number two is very similar to method number one, but instead, of having different ad creatives, we have different products. So for example, method number two, again, we have our campaign and we have our five different ad sets. And under the ad set, we can test different products. So for example, we can have product number one, product number two, and product number three and have Facebook rotate to see which one will give us best results. But something to keep in mind is your products under your ad set will have to be in the same category. So if you're in the dog niche, you want to make sure all these products are related to your dog niche because your targeting inside your ad set level will be in the dog niche. Your product have to reflect that, all right? So all these different ad set that you have here will all have the same product like your campaign ad set number one but carried the post ID over like how I mentioned earlier. All right, so that's very important because you want to carry all your social proof to these different ad creatives over here as you keep testing and pumping more budget into these different ad creatives. So those are the two different methods you can use to test your campaign. It's very effective. And when you are doing method one or method two, there are two things you can do. You can either run your engagement and, and your WC together. I would recommend WC purchase together at the same time. This way it will increase your social proof on your ad. And as you increase those social proof, your WC purchase costs will decrease. All right, so if you run these together, you have a more effective ad cost for your WC, which most of your sales will be coming from. Your ad engagement will just help your WC purchase. And because your engagement ad 
is much easier to get likes, comment, and shares. The cost will be cheaper on this campaign anyways because it's more top of funnel. We're looking at anywhere from 10 cents and below for our engagement ad. And you just need to run around five to $10 for 24 to 48 hours and just get that social proof if you want. All right, you don't have to run the engagement ad for too long. And that is one method of doing it. Another way to do it is just run your engagement ad first and get that social proof and see which ad is your winner or which product is your winner. And once you find that out, you can move it to WC website purchase. And one thing to know about website conversion purchase is you need 50 purchase within the conversion window that you selected. So if you select the seven day click, you want to at least have 50 purchases within seven days. If you can't reach this number, then go up a funnel to add to cart because that gets more action. All right. And just to clarify, when you're running your engagement campaign and your WC purchase together, that is two separate campaigns you're running at the same time. All right, so I hope you like this video. This is how I set up all my campaigns now. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to get all my latest updates. With that, I'll see you on the next one.